Hi everyone, I've just completed a new solar panel. Now this one is different than the panels I've been ba making so far. The panels I've been making so far are the two pieces of glass which enclose the solar cells to keep them dry um, and moisture out. Now this one here is just a piece of glass uh, bonded to a piece of plywood. So this all this panel is made up of is a box which was made of two by fours and it was screwed together and then a piece of plywood was then screwed on top of the box and then what I did was I coated the plywood the top layer of the plywood uh, with some body filler and I'm just trying different um, chemicals and, and materials to see which ones work better uh, but this one I just used some body filler and I smoothed it over the plywood and that gave me a plastic surface, a polyester surface um, and then the solar cells were uh, laid on top and then what I did was I, I painted the, uh, the body filler with white paint it was just some white uh, rust paint and, and then what I've done is I've just laid out my solar cells and then I've enclosed it with a piece of glass. So the whole panel is then just one piece of glass and a box frame of plywood and two by fours. So I'll just flip it up and we can take a look at the back side. It hasn't been painted or anything. And you can see it's just, it was actually a piece of scrap plywood that I was using. Um, and I've just screwed the piece of plywood onto the top of these two by fours. So it's pretty easy. It doesn't cost much, and but it does need some painting. I still have to paint the the actual um, two by fours uh, in this box. And also, um, a good idea is to um, what I've done is just put a little silicone across the uh, the plywood um, cut edges. So what I'm going to do is just coat these with silicone and then I'm going to paint over this whole surface. Now this is the first uh, wood framed uh, panel that I've built so far. And the advantage to this panel is that you already have your frame. Um, if you build a glass, two pieces of glass bonded together, then you're going to have to build a frame for it to protect it. So this panel here, I'm using the full size cells. I have 16 cells in here, so this panel's only 8 volts. It's only an 8 volt panel, but it's going to be connected in series with another panel. So I have another panel here. This one here is a 6 volt panel. Um, I can connect this one in series with any other panel I build, and, and that can determine my output voltage. So these two panels here are connected in series and in the end I'm going to have a total of 14 volts between these two panels and what I'm going to probably do is switch them up and I'll build another panel like this one a wood uh, framed panel um, because I actually like this design um, because you've got the the frame and then you can screw it onto whatever you want to um, to attach it to so I have the two panels connected in series. This is the other panel that I'm uh, connected to. And this one's six volts and the other one's eight volts. Um, in the sun, I saw a voltage of about uh, 14 and a half, 14.7 volts between them. So that's perfect for charging. Um, but a few more cells would be better, uh, 16 volts up to 20 volts. Um, because then in the shade, your voltage is higher, so there's an advantage of having um, a higher voltage uh, because in the shade it'll still charge. Uh, that's um, one of the reasons why it's good to have um, 17 or 20 volts coming out of the panels. And what I've done for my wires is I've just used old automotive um, ends, plugs from cars. I have so many of these wiring harnesses around, so I've just cut off these plugs and they're sealed, they're weather sealed plugs, random plugs. And what I do is I solder them into a harness. 
this harness here needs to be taped up. It's still uh, just soldered it uh, the other day. And I've then put a diode in. You have to have a diode uh, on the um, on the panels. If not, it'll drain your batteries um, in the night. Uh, it could. And you just wire your diode. If you see the line on the diode, there's a little little silver line. And you just wire it so that your negative from your panel is connected to that side of the diode. So I've got the two panels in series, and I have this 12 volt motor here. It's a fairly high amp motor, but let's just see if it'll power this. Um, there's a spark. It's hard to hold the camera and do this. Okay, so it's powering the motor. It's gradually getting faster. I'm amazed that it's actually powering this. So the panels are running this motor, this 12 volt motor, and I'll just put my camera in front of the panel. So you can see if you knock off a volt, Hear the motor. So you can see that these solar cells have quite a few uh, amps um, they're putting out. We'll see how hot the diode is. It's probably really hot. Yeah. Ooh. It's burning hot. So now I'm going to test a light. So I have a halogen bulb here and I'm just going to attach the solar panel um, to the, the bulb here. Now each fil one filament is 65 watts and the other filament is 45 watts. You can see it powers both filaments. Now I'll put both filaments together so that so that's running both filaments at the same time. So this is just a look at the uh, wooden uh, framed panel with the glass siliconed on top to enclose the cells. And my other channel, I focus on these type of panels. I actually am making a series on how to build them. Um, you can check it out, it's Kurt's Cottage. And I'm going in full detail from, from start to finish. Um, and they're actually pretty easy to put together. Um, but this video here was just on the, um, the construction of this type of panel. And I'm also gonna make some videos on this panel here. I like how they look and they seem to, um, it seems to work well so far. Uh, but I won't know until it's in the weather, so until it sits out in the rain, uh, how long this thing's going to uh, last and hold up. So, well, that's just a look at the wooden framed panel. Thank you for watching.